Welcome to this week's special edition of WTHS. I'm Ari Giorgenti. Mississippi Scholastic Press Association, also known as MSPA, is celebrating their 75th anniversary. And in honor of that, our staff is going back in time to look at our 28 years. In 1993, under Bill Clinton's presidency, music from Whitney Houston <laughs> and Snoop Dogg <laughs> were booming. Hey guys, I'm Sarah Bazell, and this week I'll be taking you guys back in time to where WTHS all started. Our first show was produced in 1993 and was nothing like you see today. Unfortunately, we do not have any video records from this time, but we do have yearbook evidence. In the beginning, this class was only a club that was sponsored by different THS teachers. One of those being Kay Bishop, who passed away nearly five years ago. Soon, WTHS became a regular class and started off by producing a monthly segment for the local station WTVA. As the class transitioned teachers, it turned into more of what you see in today's shows. The first edition on the TPSD YouTube was posted in 2013. It slowly started to move into broadcast journalism where instead of mostly creatives and promos, students were taking a deeper look into what it really means to put together a news broadcast. In 2020, the WTHS Media Channel was created and has continued to this day. Thanks for joining me for the history of WTHS. Welcome to the Y2K. George W. Bush is now President of the United States and the fashion trends are quite questionable to say the least. People like Miley Cyrus are wearing low-rise jeans and Zac Efron was rocking the infamous Justin Bieber haircut. You've probably seen Officer Sheffield around campus, but did you know he was a part of WTHS his senior year? He took the class's first and second period. Well, that would have been the year 2000 when I graduated. I was in WTHS my senior year of high school. Um, when I was here, we had eight periods. So for me, WTHS was my first period and my second period of my senior year. Um, so 2000, all those many years ago, seems like now. Um, um, we had a little bit more freedom than y'all did now. Uh, if I remember, we would leave campus a lot and had the ability to leave campus and we would leave and uh, go do interviews out in the public. So, I mean, we would go, we would come up with a story and we could go jump in our cars and leave and go do that story and then come back. Um, and a lot of the times too, we'd stop by Connie's Chicken and get a biscuit because we were out and about. And that's just what we did. The WTHS class of 2000 sure did have lots of fun. In this class, he's gathered some really good advice to share with others. My, the teacher that taught the class at the time was an awesome, an awesome person and a really good teacher. My advice would be to really listen to her and let her pour into you if this is something that you're serious about doing in your career. Um, if she says it, it's right. So I would go with it. Officer Sheffield has really taught us how WTHS has changed over the years. In 2011, Barack Obama is still President of the United States and Minecraft was also released that year and is still a big hit today. Welcome to our WTHS classroom, also known as my favorite place on campus. It is hard to believe, but there was a time when WTHS was not nearly as professional and developed as it is today. We have Mr. Jason Varnon to thank for obtaining a lot of the major equipment that contributed to building the very foundation of our weekly WTHS broadcast. When we first started, uh, we were able to get all the equipment with a grant that we won uh, through, who I think, the AEE. Over here is where all the magic happens. Editing is one of the most important parts to creating our weekly shows. Mr. Varnon played a huge role in introducing WTHS to the editing software we still use today, Final Cut Pro. So the first month, maybe month and a half, was 
really learning our cameras. Nobody had ever worked with Final Cut Pro at that time. Most of those days would have been training for about the first month. Under Mr. Varnon, the WTHS class became very accomplished, and the superintendent at the time decided that they would be the perfect group to help show the community all about what was going on in the school district at that time. So in the first year of broadcast, after we figured out how to do a broadcast, we actually had to partner with WTVA and produce a show for them called TPSD at a Glance. Not only did Mr. Varnon make a huge impact on the WTHS program as a whole, but he also helped several of his students discover a passion for broadcast journalism that would take them far in life. Now that we've heard from the teacher, I think it's time to hear from one of the students. Bailey Martin was one of Mr. Jason Varnon's students. She is now the press secretary for Governor Tate Reeves, and she credits her interest in journalism to WTHS. If it wasn't for WTHS, I never would have got started in journalism to lead me into this position. Martin was in WTHS six years ago. While a lot has changed, one thing has stayed the same. It's busy. <laughs> So we had a lot of just making sure our homework was done for other classes, but also making sure we had our interviews done, getting everything together for the newscast and our daily updates and all of, all of that. So it was super busy, but I mean, that I will say that kind of prepared me for today's world too, because being busy never stops. <laughs> busy back then and still busy today, Martin's job as press secretary keeps her on her toes. Daily, it changes all the time. I mean, like just today, we had so much stuff come up, so it's always something different. One of my favorite parts of WTHS is interviewing and getting to meet new people. While Martin may not be the one interviewing people, she does schedule all of Governor Reeves' interviews. Today, he has interview requests, or he has interviews that they come through me so we can get that scheduled, and then we play it out and we have to book studios and get everything ready and draft remarks and write letters and it's just each day is a new circumstance. <laughs> Bailey Martin is a living testament to how WTHS prepares its students for a career in journalism. WTHS has been known to highlight several sports here at Tupelo High School from football to track to volleyball to basketball. WTHS continues to show its support to its athletic teams and in return gives us here the chance to put people behind the scenes. Marissa Michael, a 2020 graduate, also a former member of WTHS, is one of the people who grew to the liking of covering sports segments. So through WTHS, I was able to learn how to properly film sports and I use those skills now because I work for the football team here at Mississippi State and I do coaches film and I use all the skills that I learned in WTHS now. Using what she learned here in high school, Marissa explains in depth what she does for a college's football team. Coaches film is where we film every football practice and we focus on certain groups and we do certain framing and different drills and different things like that and we import them and edit them and send them to the coaches so they can use that film during their meetings. As Marissa continues to film football and possibly other sports through her college career, she makes her future endeavors known. My major is sports administration and I'm using that major to have as a background since I film for the football team and I'm hoping to continue filming and editing outside of college. I'm hoping to make it to the NFL level. Through all the seriousness of school, there are always fun and exciting moments. Marissa shares one of her favorite memories she has from being in WTHS. So my favorite memory from WTHS is probably just, you know, getting to go around school and interact with different people. Like when we would go to the lunches and we would have different like Q and A's and we would just get to talk to random people about random things. And that was probably my favorite thing about WTHS. Through past years comes New Year's, and with New Year's comes new people. We now introduce our soon-to-be 2021 graduate, Paris Lehman, who has the title of Sports Media Manager. 
Hey, I'm Paris Lehman, and welcome back to this week's edition of Sports Media. Joining WTHS her sophomore year, Paris sees how WTHS is going to contribute to her future. This class is going to prepare me tremendously once I graduate high school because it has allowed me to figure out what I want to do after college as my career. She plans on attending Nichols State University to study broadcast journalism and hopes to pursue a dream job at ESPN. Sharing her experience, she also shares words of wisdom to anybody thinking about joining WTHS. This class has brought me tremendous joy as I've met new friends and learned many new life skills as I prepare to leave high school and get ready for college. Paris leaves some big shoes to fill as she was recently just recognized with the Best Sports Story Award and as a finalist for Best Sports Reporter. WTHS has changed a lot over the years. One way we have changed is how we do weather now. Did you know WTHS used to include weather in our shows? Well, we did. Before COVID hit, we not only had one, but two people take on the weather. Well, let us just jump into spring break. Bippity boppity boo. Now we only do a game day forecast where we tell what the weather will be like on the day of the game. Hey, I'm Jessica with today's game day forecast. Tonight it will be in the mid-50s and it is senior night, so make sure you stay warm and come support our seniors. I'm Aaliyah with today's game day forecast. Tonight, baseball plays against all a branch at 5. The weather will be in the high 70s, but there will be a chance to rain, so bring a jacket. Go Wave. And in the middle of February, we were virtual for six days because of the snow. Everyone really enjoyed those days off, but good thing summer is right around the corner. Today's forecast, 100% chance of fun summer. Morgan Rommens is one of many who I have met through WTHS. Although I only had one class with her, she taught me many techniques such as editing, camera work, and also having confidence through all of this. My favorite part about WTHS was probably getting to edit the shows every week. Um, I love to get to be creative and come up with ideas for the shows but then get to edit them and um, learn how to use skills like Final Cut Pro and um, edit the shows every week. That was probably my favorite part. Even though she's in college, she also uses her skills that she learned from WTHS to prepare her for later things in life. WTHS really prepared me for things later in life because, like I said, getting to edit the shows um, is a skill that I learned through WTHS and I've used many times later in life. I actually did an internship last year at my church and um, I got to film videos and edit videos for them and I wouldn't have been able to have that opportunity if it weren't for WTHS. So they've prepared me in many ways um, for life later on. In WTHS, we're all a family. Although Morgan has graduated, she still leaves a place in her heart. When looking back on WTH's history, it's impossible to overlook the several students who had an impact on the program and whose lives were affected by being in WTHS. I had the privilege of learning about former member Bailey White's time in WTHS. Thanks Maggie, I'm Bailey White and I'm Coco Gorin and we're almost retired meteorologists. Bailey was a part of the class for two years, 2014 to 2015 and 2015 to 2016. Her senior year, she was co-editor-in-chief. Her job was to oversee her classmates, but she also enjoyed making graphics for sports. Bailey says her main role in the class was to help with a program called Wi-Fi. Its purpose was to live stream sports. She helped film, edit, and even add commentary. WTHS really helped me step outside of my comfort zone. Um, it helped me be involved on campus. It gave me a purpose. When asked what she got out of the class, Bailey had much to say. She was pushed outside of her comfort zone and formed friendships. She learned how to work in a team and also gained confidence in public speaking. Today, Bailey is a teacher and says these things she learned from WTHS still help her today. I'm a teacher now and with COVID I have to record and um, be on video a lot and so I, it just it doesn't even cross my mind really anymore. We are thankful for past students and the impact they had on the class we know and love. WTHS wouldn't be what it is today without students like Bailey White. Throughout the years, WTHS has received several awards. Bailey White, a former WTHS student, tells us a little bit about receiving Best Broadcast in State when she was a part of WTHS. We won Best Broadcast in the State when I was co-editor-in-chief, and so that was really exciting. Um, 
just to know that, just to see how far we've come. Being able to be involved in something like WTHS is so special, and winning awards like Best Broadcast makes it even better. This year, we received several awards from MSPA, which is Mississippi Scholastic Press Association. <laughs> Some of the awards included Best Feature Coverage, Best News Story, Best Feature Story, Best Sports Story, and Best News Reporter. In the past years, WTHS has earned over 40 awards. This spring alone, we received 23 awards. It is amazing to see how the hard work of all the students is rewarded. We are all so appreciative of the awards we have received, and the hard work will continue. With all of our success, there has to be room for mistakes. We have a lot of fun shooting our shows each week, and this can come with a lot of funny footage for you to enjoy. Here are some of our favorite bloopers from this year and many years past. THS added in order to take a... That would have been so... <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Don't move. I'm Jay Stegall. Today, why are you laughing? I'm Aaliyah Cooper. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Today, with a, uh, uh, make sure to come and, oops. <laughs> Get like this down, cause this part looks good and this part's like, literally attacking me. Hold on, ready? Does it look like I'm squinting? On Monday, whether you're virtual or online, virtual or online. Oh, you may want to Yeah. Where's that going? I can't figure out where I am. Go. Wait. <laughs> Ready? This? Shit. <laughs> well, President Trump came to Tupelo to help support Tate Weaves win this <laughs> <election>. <laughs> She does schedule all of Governor Tate Reeves. Ugh. I tried to almost said Governor Tate. And thanks for watching this week's edition of WTHS. It was so perfect. They have overcome many obstacles as they push through to Second the end. Down. Second and five. <clears throat> Wait. To track. I was down the wrong way. <laughs> More on how, on how, man, okay. I know, I was so close. Today the highest 41, wait, no. All right, let me. Thanks to Naya and Maya, Miss Crate, ooh, just kidding. No. Okay. With all of our, <laughs> Okay. Check, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> Thanks for joining us for the history edition of WTHS News. Take it away, Riley. I'm Riley Miller. I'm Alyssa Halls. I'm Sarah Bazell. I'm Ava Lacey. I'm Malia Cooper. I'm Mary Allen Wolf. I'm Amir Woods. I'm Ari Georgenti. I'm Emerson Love. I'm Paris Lehman. I'm Lucy Johnston. I'm Avery Millward. I'm Eli Stewart. I'm Jessica McGoy. And, and this is WTHS News.